Hi, it's Chester Tuckwell at Blue Pecan Computer Training. And in this video, we're going to look at a way of preventing duplicate entries within a column. So in column A, I've got two colors, red and yellow. Now I want to be able to type any other color in this column, except from the ones I've already typed. So the first step is to select the range of cells that you're going to type colors into. Then you go to the data tab on your ribbon. And then in the data tools group, you select data validation. On the settings tab, in the allow dropdown, change the setting from any value to custom. And then you're going to write a formula in the formula box. Now this formula initially is for the active cell, but then will be copied down and applied to all the other cells that have been selected. And the function we're going to use in this formula is COUNTIF. So COUNTIF, the first argument within the COUNTIF function is the range of cells you're going to count in. So in our example, that's A1 down to A15. And you will need to fix that reference. And you can do that with the F4 key on your keyboard. And you can see it puts dollars in both the first cell in the range and the last cell in the range, comma. And then the second argument within the counter function is what you're going to count. So because this formula applies to the first cell we've selected, the active cell, it's going to be, uh, this argument is going to refer to cell A1. So we're going to count how many times red appears in this range of cells. Then we're going to say equals one. So the validation is, is that this value can only appear once in this column, and it will be the same for yellow. So then I click on, well, actually, before I click on OK, what we'll do is we'll add something a little bit extra here. You've got an error alert tab here. Now, by default, if someone was to type in red or yellow again within those cells that we selected, it will give a default message saying that the value is not allowed. But we can customize that message to make it a little bit more helpful. So I'm going to write duplicate color here. Add a little message. You cannot enter the same color twice. OK. Right, so if I was to type blue in here, you'll see it works just fine. If I was to type red, I get this nice little message that says you cannot enter the same color twice. I'll cancel out of it and I'll have to type a different color. OK, so that was a very simple way of preventing duplicates within a column using data validation. This is a reminder of the formula. Using a COUNTIF function that looks within that range of cells and see, sees how many times a particular color has been entered. And if it's not equal to one, then it won't allow the entry. Thanks very much for listening. It's been Chester Tugwell at Blue Peak and Computer.